Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today my video is going to be based on what's in my hospital bag because I'm currently now 37 weeks and 4 days pregnant. So it's about now the hospital bag should be ready and also because I know I'm going to be induced on the 31st of August. I thought it was important that my bag was ready and I knew that I'd got everything. So we've currently got two bags that we're planning on taking to the hospi hospital. One's actually a suitcase and that's for me and Connor to share. And the other one is a bag that we actually brought as a changing bag but we're going to use it as a Matilda's hospital bag as well. Um, and that's a baby, I think it's baby bow, baby you. And I absolutely love this bag. It's baby view, I think, and it's absolutely lovely inside. It's got a changing mat that comes with it. It's got this nice um, pinstriped black and cream material on the inside, and it also comes with like lots of little pockets and storage space inside. So I absolutely love that bag. It's probably one of my favourite baby purchases that I've made. And then the suitcase is from. Primark and it costs £25 and I'm going to insert a clip to show you everything that I've got in it now and talk through what I've got. Okay so in Matilda's bag we've packed three pairs of socks, three pairs of mittens and four little hats. I think four hats might be a bit too much but I prefer to have more. We've got a plain hooded white towel. Um, a nice burp cloth from Marks and Spencers. I absolutely love this. It is so soft and it just looks really classy when it's out and on your shoulder. And then we've got a pl well, like a plain and then a starry pattern muslin cloth, which were from Primark. We've packed our little cardigan because obviously it'll be the end of August, beginning of September, which is absolutely lovely. And the ears are just so cute on the top of that. That's up to one month, so I hope she fits in it. We've then packed three sleep suits. They're both they're all long legs and long armed. Some nappies. And then this is her coming home outfit. So we've got these little slippers, which are lovely, and the ears are textured to make the crinkly sound. And then we've got a little it's like a sleep suit, but it's not. It's like um baby grow coming home outfit and we didn't buy them to match but I bought the baby growth first and then my sister came back from holiday with the slippers which match absolutely perfectly so she'll look beautiful coming home in that outfit. We then got a Tommy TP, I think they're called ultra comfort bottles and well it's a bottle warm with another bottle in. Packed some nappy bags, some fragrance free wipes people have recommended these to me because they just are ultra soft some dove nappy cream some sterilizer wipes baby shampoo and powder i'm not sure if i'll need it or not but i'm taking it just in case and three bottles of baby milk okay now for mine and connor's bag this is a suitcase that we purchased from primark and it was 25 pounds but i absolutely love it so in the zip compartment on the one side, we've put Connor's stuff, and he's just got basic stuff in there really. So we've packed him just a plain towel, just in case he needs to have a wash while he's there. Underwear, a hoodie, jogging bottoms, a toothbrush. There's two toothbrushes there actually. Um, what else have we put in there? Shower gel and deodorant and then for my side i've packed the hospital notes on top just in case i have any antenatal appointments this week before i actually go into hospital and then i've got my coming home outfit so i've just packed a plain black long baggy top and like a camely tan waistcoat and i'll wear that with some plain black leggings i've packed a little makeup bag just in case i feel like i have any energy to actually put any makeup on but it's really basic, so like foundation, bronzer, a lip gloss. And I love this Primark uh, makeup bag. This is a purse from River Island, and inside it we've just put some change if we need it for like vending machines or anything. That's my leggings. 
and then I've just bought some little slipper socks, some full briefs, because obviously I want to be able to feel comfy after I've had Matilda, some maternity pads, so I'll wear them after, so obviously there'll be blood, um, a nice new pink nightshirt from Primark, a simple Primark purple towel, and then I've just packed an old nightshirt as well. In case I prefer to wear that one, while well, labour might be a bit messy. Okay, and now this is my toiletry bag. So inside that I've just packed some face flannels, a travel toothbrush, which I found in Primark, and a little mini toothpaste, some nipple pads, because of any, obviously any leaking milk. I think there's some more in there as well somewhere. Another flannel. Um, a Tony and Guy mini shampoo and conditioner. Most of these minis were actually bought in Primark because I just managed to find everything I need. Then some hair bubbles for tying my hair up. Some nipple cream to apply if necessary. I've then packed, yep, some more nipple pads. Goes on and on. Face wash, just a nice simple face wash. Obviously, you can see that was a pound from Primark. Then this hair oil was £2 from Primark and I packed that just in case top of my hair is okay but the ends are dry. A face moisturiser. A body wash. And lastly some lip balm. Okay so that's what I've got in Matilda's hospital bag and what I've packed in the suitcase for me and Connor. Um, any added extras, we've also got the video camera in case we want to record any special memories while we're in there. So maybe the giving birth part, I haven't quite decided um, how detailed I want to go yet with when I'm giving birth. Um, we've also got some drinks and snacks and obviously our phone chargers and debit cards because our hospital actually, actually uses um, debit cards to pay for your car park rather than change. And then I think that's pretty much it. So if anyone thinks I've forgotten anything or you think I've packed too much or you think I've packed not enough, then comment down below. Um, the suitcase was £25 from Primark. The baby bow or baby bew changing bag I purchased from ASOS. And I think it was around £100. But I'll make sure I tag that changing bag into the comments below. Most of the outfits were either from Mother Care, Primark, and then the little slippers from a little shop in Cornwall where my sister and her fiancé were away. And then I think that's pretty much it. Everything else I've just picked up as I've gone along the way. So I hope you found this video useful today. If you've liked it, put a thumbs up and subscribe. And then I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If there's any videos you want doing that you would like to see from me, then also comment them down below and I shall get some ideas together. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.